Today we are opening up 1,000 packs of Naruto cards. I'll also be giving an entire sealed booster box to one lucky subscriber. Hey everybody, we are jumping right in today, opening the craziest amount of packs I've ever done on this channel. If you're new to these cards, they are official licensed products in China distributed by a company called Caillou. And also here's the Piriot logo, which is the license owner of Naruto in China. With the Caillou collection boxes, they usually come in different tiered type of boxes, tier one, two, three, and four. This box is a little different where it's kind of like a, a mixture of tier two and three. It's got 50 packs, 25 in each side. To start off this video, we're opening an entire box on camera and then we'll showcase 19 boxes worth of hits directly after. Because for real, it would take about an hour to open up 20 different boxes and ain't no one sitting there through that. In these packs, there's a chance to get about seven or 10 hits that are UR rarity or above. Hey, and there we have it, our first hit for the video. This is the OR of Young Kakashi. Very gorgeous looking cars. I love the OR arts, very unique and nice looking. In these blue booster boxes, there's a chance to pull URs, oh, <laughs> ORs, another OR pop-up of Haku, one of my favorite early characters in the series. If you follow me on my channel regularly, you'll know I love Zabuza and Haku. Long story short as to why they're one of my favorites is because early on, I first got introduced to Naruto by a anime shop slipping in a VHS tape into one of my purchases. And I was stuck watching the first nine episodes of Naruto for like three or four months. So they became very beloved characters to me, both Zabuza and Haku. They were like the end game bosses for a long period of time. What I was saying before is in these blue booster boxes, you have a chance to pull URs, ORs, SPs, and CP cards. If you're wondering what those stand for as well, like OR or SP, there is no specific meaning that I've been able to find. It's just the title or name of that rarity. But in these boxes, you will exclusively find two SP cards that are only available in these and also the CP cards, which are black and gold. You only get around one to two per box and there's a limited amount in this entire set. With each pack, there is five cards included inside, so we've gone through quite a bit without having a hit. Again, I mentioned there's about a 15 to 20% chance to get a hit in these booster boxes. There's an SSR. Those are decently rare, but it's not too difficult to get an entire set if you do pick up you know, a few boxes, because I think there's like eight to 10 of those in each box. Hey, and there we have another OR pull of Asuma's buddy Chiriku in the, the series. Definitely kind of a random OR to have in this set, but cool. He's got his own card in this. Love the effects that they have on the left side of that. That's one thing I've been enjoying about the Naruto Caillou card collection series is the wide cast of characters they represent in their sets. Hey, and there we have another hit for OR Sakura. In this set are two other cards as well of Naruto and Sasuke that will complement her very nicely, representing them in some of the final episodes of Shippuden. Really hoping with all these boxes that I'm opening up, I'll be able to get some duplicates of cards I really like so I can send them away to MNT for grading. I did talk to them. They are a grading company out of Canada and they are willing to grade the Caillou Collection series. Not all like PSA or BGS are willing to do them, hopefully just yet, but maybe in the future that's something they will open up to. For now, look forward to some MNT graded returns that I'll be showcasing on the channel eventually. I use them for my Bandai Naruto CCG cards and had a great experience. You know, they are really harsh with their grading, but that is what you want from a card grading company is to have high standards. All right, so we're going through another little bit of a drought here with no rare cards popping or showing up. But what that means is just later, they're probably all stacking up in the back. So some of our later pulls with these packs are going to have a lot more hits back to back, hopefully. I will say though, these boxes are fantastic for catching up on some of those early URs and ORs as I mentioned in the beginning. And there we have our first CP for the box with Sasuke and Itachi silhouette in the back. These cards are incredible looking. I love the black and gold design and then the colored character in the front. Most importantly, the strong connection between the character up front and the character in the back. Really cool to see our first one pop out of the box. There is usually about two of them in the box. Sometimes you can pull what's called an SP card and it could maybe change that or make it so it's only one. But there we have a UR of Kurenai as well. We'll get her sleeved up after we finish the rest of these cards. And then we're ending up with, yay, the CP for Tsunade. Gorgeous looking card here. So as you can tell, we have Katsuyu in the back and we'll have the other signings show up with Jiraiya and Orochimaru. So we'll have Manda and Gamabunta hopefully be showing up sometime in the future. 
So far, we've been doing about five packs at a time. We're gonna be revving it up a little bit by doing 10 packs at a time, and unfortunately, speeding through these because we had no hits in all of these 10 packs. And it is time for the last remaining 10 packs to be opened up here. We'll see what we have left. And I'm looking forward to busting open 19 more of these boxes and showcasing all the hits that we pull in them. And then we have another UR card popping up of Sakura. Kind of reminds me of the OR, but those are definitely more dynamic looking compared to the UR. So we had a bunch of non-hits and ending off this booster box with my favorite character in the entire series. Again, you all know why, Zabuza. He looks great and would look even greater next to some statues that I do collect of Zabuza. So we'll go ahead and round all the cards up and go through the hits for this box. Got that OR Sakura, Chiruku as well, Haku, Young Kakashi, moving on to our, oh, oh, thank you for that, and no harm came to the cars. Now it's time to talk about the booster box giveaway for the video. All you need to do is leave a comment below on your favorite CP card, the black and gold ones that were pulled throughout the entire video. Stay tuned for more to come, and I'll select a winner one week from today, and I'll pin that comment at the top of the video. Before we jump in and take a look at those 19 boxes, I wanted to showcase to you every single SSR that you can pull. So we, obviously we have the one through 20 on the left and then 21 through 40 on our right. While these are most certainly not the rarest tier cards, there's about six to eight per box. It's kind of tricky to be able to collect every single one of them. Coming up on the right side is actually one of my favorite of Sasuke and the armor Susano. For those that are completionists with the Caillou collection, I hope this does help you know in exactly what you need to aim for or maybe you're missing in your collection. My second favorite SSR is on our right here with Itachi and his Susano as well. There you have it. Let's jump into these boxes. We're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison. So box number two on our left and number three on our right. I'd say some of my favorite URs created are these ones with the Tailed Beast and the Jinchuriki. Moving into the ORs, how sick does that Madara look? Moving into our CPs, look at that awesome Kakashi and Obito on the left. And then our first SP pool for the video, Hiruzen or the third Hokage. This is the only boxes where you will find that SP for the third Hokage. There's also another character that shows up that I'll wait to show you as we pull it. And here we have some new CPs with Sakura and Tsunade and Jiraiya with Gamabunta. And I believe we have seen these two already. Loving that Yugito and Two Tails on the left there. And we got Roshi and Goku as well. On the left, you'll see the first time we pulled OR Hashirama. I believe Toby Rama is in this set as well. Both very nice looking cards. As we're completing our sixth and seventh box, I'll go ahead and answer the question I get asked quite frequently. Where do you buy these cards from? About 90% of my collection has been purchased from Anime Card Store on AliExpress. They sell authentic cards, they have great prices and package things very nicely. So if you want to start collecting these cards, I highly encourage you to check out the link in my description to order some for yourself. Jumping back into boxes eight and nine, you know, we're gonna start to begin to see quite a few duplicates, but also there are cards we have not seen pulled yet. In fact, over here on my left is the second Mizukage. And boom, there is Naruto on our left. The first time he is showing up, one of my favorite cards you can pull in this set. And also there is SP Orochimaru. There you have it, the two exclusive SPs that you can only pull in these 50 pack blue boxes. This left side's about to get lit. We got the OR for Haruzen. Then we have Hanzo coming in, Naruto popping up again, and Sasuke in one pack. How incredible is that one? Minato, Kushina, that one's a new one. And also Hinata in the back there with Neji. Phew, though, that's Sasuke with the complete Susana behind him. That is one I hope we get some duplicates of so I can send some away for grading. Got some amazing statues that that would definitely go well with. There's nice Hashirama again. And as you'll notice, some of the pull rates are sometimes a little bit different for these packs, like this one right here, where you get an SP, so there's an extra card on our left side compared to the right. Also in the description will be a link to my eBay store where I have some lots available for sale of some of the duplicates we pulled throughout today. Jumping back in, we're well over the halfway point with boxes 14 and 15 coming up. We still haven't pulled that OR for Toby Rama, so I'm on the lookout for that one as well. But we've definitely got some awesome hits so far. There we go, another awesome hit with Naruto. Sasuke on our left, 
And then oh, another Naruto as well. So awesome duplicates we can pull here, especially that Minato Kushina. And then also look at that Jiraiya Pervy Sage and Gama Bunto back there. Love seeing these tailed beasts again, those URs popping up. Definitely sending some of those away for grading for some statues I do have of the tailed beasts. And there he is, Toby Rama. I will say this second left pack over here is kind of strange where there's two SP Hiruzens. There was actually no CPs in those packs as well. So I guess some weird, you know, one-off boxes can happen where things like that can occur. It looks like we are on boxes 18 and 19. We have one special box that I saved for last. This one had so much fire pools in it. It had to be showcased alone. Last two CPs being two out of the three signing and then also a double decker for the SPs side by side again. This box right here, as I said, came in super clutch with a lot of amazing cards and also one of the CPs that were missing at the very end. So Zabuza, of course, coming in, one of my favorites. Also, Haku was in the set as well. And then we have the Trash Cat Sakura right here. And next up is going to be, of course, Sasuke behind it. And then, if that didn't get any sweeter, we got a Naruto right behind that as well. And then for the last OR, we have Madara in this pack. Seriously, how incredible was this box right here? And our CP, we were missing number one Naruto with Jiraiya on the back. And also, we have Aminato and Kushina here as well. Was a little worried after 19 boxes that we wouldn't pull CP number one, but thankfully we did. Not going to go through every single one of these piles in detail, but I wanted to quickly sift through and just show you, you know, all the different cards that were pulled, some of the duplicates, and even for some of these sets, we only pulled like one of certain cards. I couldn't believe it. Again, some of these duplicates will be found on eBay up for auction. I'm definitely going to be sending some away for grading. Very thankful in this second pile over here. We can see we got some Naruto's and Sasuke's extra as well. And then we only pulled one of the second Mizukage. As you see right here, only one of these cards were pulled out of the whole entire lot. Crazy. At the end of the day, though, all these boxes are just luck based, right? No card is probably more difficult to pull than the other. They're just so randomized that sometimes you could be you know, extremely lucky on one end and extremely unlucky on the other end. Let's take a quick look and see the SPs we got. I know we got more third Hokages than Orochimaru's, definitely. So six and three. Yep, all right, so definitely more. Be sure to leave a comment for your chance to win this box. And as always, do what you love and love what you do. Bam out.